you. Oh, you're the girl from yesterday. Have you remembered who I am yet? No, um, sorry, I haven't. Asahi, you're so heartless. And after all our fooling around, our nights too numerous and torrid to speak of here? Whoa, hey, I think that's something I'd remember pretty clearly if it actually happened. <laughs> Come on, why don't you just tell me who you are already? No way! Until you remember on your own, my lips are sealed. I want you to make sure you remember every last detail before the next time we meet, okay? If you don't, I'll cry. All right, all right already. Next time we meet for sure, I promise. Wait, this means you remember what happened yesterday, doesn't it? <laughs> I remember everything. I even remember what you wrote when you graduated elementary school. You said your dream was to be a baseball player. You were supposed to be playing in the major leagues by now, I think. God, how do you remember that of all things? Even I've forgotten that. But that's beside the point. <laughs> My perfect memory is the reason I even remember yesterday. Because of course I do. Weird things are happening all around us, and nobody else seems to have noticed. Are you... a deluser then? Hmm? Oh no, nothing. Hey Asahi. Do you want to know the real secret to men and women getting along with each other? Uh, what? There's just one? Sharing secrets. That's the secret. And you and me, Asahi, we're going to share a real deep secret right now. Wait, what? How, uh, how deep are we talking here? Hey now, I know what you're thinking, and you can just stop right there, bub. That is not what I'm talking about. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be, huh? But meeting here, talking like this, that's our little secret, okay? You can't tell another single soul a thing about it, got it? Promise me. You really shouldn't tease feisty young boys like that, you know? But yeah, that's fine, I promise. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder when we'll see each other next. Um, well... We'll do it just like this, right out of the blue. That way we both have something to look forward to. Though if today keeps repeating, we'll never be able to promise to see each other tomorrow. Pretty sucky world, huh? That's one way to put it. Anyway, I should be heading home now. See you later, Asahi. Make sure to remember you said you're going to make sure to remember me before we meet again. I'll try to remember all that. Bye-bye! She wants me to keep our meeting a secret. What an odd girl. But who in the world is she? you mention it, I have heard a few rumors. What sort of rumors? Well, I only started hearing them lately, but they're all about some little punk tooling around Akiba in a pink cape. Punk? As in a kid? Huh, the hell if I know. Don't think anyone's been able to tell his age. So nobody's seen his face? Not as far as I've heard, no. I see. Thanks for the heads up. Yamato. And I thought you'd already gone back home. Huh? Asai? I thought the same of you. Didn't realize you were still in Akihabara. I live here. But anyway, I heard something that bugged me, so I decided to do some sleuthing. But what have you been up to? Between spying on Game Mars and staring at monitors, you've been kind of suspicious. And what are you doing now? Here to buy some trading cards or something? 
Not at all. Our paths just keep crossing. Nothing suspicious about that. Anyway, I'm out. Heading home for real this time. What are you two doing here? Asahi? Yamato? I thought you two both would have called it a day by now. Well, this is a surprise. Just running a few errands, really. At Game Mars and a card shop? Look, I already told you. You just happened to run into me when I was near those places. I wasn't shopping there. So a chance encounter, then. And what about you, Asahi? It's not like you to be out and about when you don't have to be. Ouch. I heard about some sightings of the guy in the pink cape, so I've been chasing some leads. Whoa! Us too! That's right. It's too much of a mystery to resist, I suppose. Even if we did spend half our time eating cake at a cafe. I didn't know you went to cafes, Saki. What? Of course I do. Who doesn't? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was an excellent use of our time, too. We heard a number of rumors about our pink man, and the cake was delicious. Oh? Spill, what'd you hear? Our only consistent piece of testimony seemed to be that he was tall. Tall? That's weird. I heard he was a little punk. That's the exact opposite! But what does it all mean? Hey, sorry to interrupt your little love-in, but we're done for the day, right? I'm going home. Hold your horses, cowboy. We're all back together and chasing leads anyway, so we might as well keep this momentum going. My, that's a surprisingly proactive thing for you to say, Asahi. I just can't shake this feeling that something bad's about to happen. And I keep thinking about Moe. You and Moe are pretty close, aren't you? Bully for you. I'm going home, though. Later. Hey, just wait for a minute. No, Asahi, we're done for today. We've already said that we'll pick this up in the morning, so let's just do that. Huh. That's a surprisingly non-proactive thing for you to say, Saki. Aren't you always pushing us to keep searching? I am, but it's been a long day. Get some rest, Yamato. Nice work today. Right back at ya. See ya. Guess I'll head home then, too, and play some games or something. No, you won't. Huh? <laughs> Our operation begins! Hmm? What? What's going on? Any minute now. Saki! You were right! He went straight for the delusion scape! Thank you, Pinkoon. Come on, we need to go after him. Time to move out. Move out? To where? We're tailing Yamato. You saw it too, right? Saw what too? Whenever he's standing in front of an anime-related shop, he gets all prickly with energy. It only makes sense that he and the Chuni delusion are connected. Oh, yeah, that does make sense. So that's why you let him leave. That's right. And now, we're going to chase him down. But why does he want to go there alone? That's what I plan to find out. Ah, uh, save point! Shall we take a break? A delusion scape! Shall we enter? My heart is beating out of my chest! Something is about to happen! Get your kebabs right here! Crazy cheap! Crazy delicious! You'd be crazy not to! Oh, no thanks. Hey, Asahi, what's up with all the kebab stands in Akihabara? Now that you mention it, that's a good question. I've never really thought about it, but it is kind of weird, huh? Well, I've thought about it enough for the both of us, and it's made me hungry. Let's go grab a bite somewhere, okay? I think you're just always hungry. No thought required. But still, but still, food does sound kind of good right now. Me too, huh? All right, how about we just grab some of those kebabs? <sighs> you're such a guy. Huh? But you said you were hungry after kebabs made you think of food. I mean, causation, correlation, hello? Yes, I am hungry, but not for kebabs. Inference is key, Asahi. What do you say we go get something sweet? Sweet and bad for you. 
Ooh, I like bad for you sweets too. From time to time, anyway. From time to time? I'm good with anything I shove down my gullet personally. I don't know. Junk food is a scam. It tastes good, but you leave just as hungry as when you came, so you end up overeating. Uh, classic guy response. Or maybe just a classic Asahi response. <laughs> it's a maiden thing. You wouldn't understand. You're right. I wouldn't. Anyway, where's a good place to go for something sweet? Well, let's see. Um, how about crepes? Would that please your majesty? Oh, yes! Crepes! That's perfect! Good. Juan Quixote on Main Street should have you covered then. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. Here we are. Oh, these look amazing. Fresh strawberry cream crepes for me. Hmm, maybe tuna curry for me. Won't you win this for the sweets? The stomach wants what it wants, okay? What are you gonna get? Hmm, apple cinnamon creme with cake topping me. <laughs> I guess the influence of a maiden's heart can make even scams like this seem appetizing, huh? Voila! Here you are! Bon appétit! Don't mind if I do. Mm. 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 This is overbearingly sweet. Well, mine was delicious. You're already done? Well, how was it? Were the hearts and stomachs of you beautiful maidens adequately satiated? Hmm. No, 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 no. I mean, it was good. But maybe I wasn't actually feeling crepes after all? What? Man, you are fickle. So if not crepes, then what? Maybe... Some ice cream. Yeah, that's it. Ice cream. I'm thinking ice cream. Ice cream, huh? Yeah. Nothing beats a cold cone outside the Horace building after class. Great way to unwind. Hmm, somehow I'm craving it now, too. I don't think I understand your maidenly stomachs at all. You know what you have to do. So lead the way, dingus! <sighs> yeah, yeah. Let's head to Etri by the station's electric town exit. Sounds good to me. Forward march. Wanted. You're not even planning to buy me any, are you? Saki! Saki! Mm, this is so good! The strawberry soft serve is really tasty, too! Oh, whew. you actually did get one for me, but your choice of flavors is a little odd. Vanilla for me and edamame for you? Yeah, I know. It's not as sweet, but I just kind of had a nostalgia attack in there, I guess. I used to eat this after school all the time. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that before, too. A cold cone outside the Horace building after class or something, right? Did I say that? Huh. Did you eat ice cream every single day? What? No, of course not. I'm not that much of a glutton. How can you even imply that of a lady? I mean, I did 
have it a lot, but he was always after sports meets and stuff. Oh, what sport did you play, Saki? I was the city rep for track and field. That was more than a year ago, though. I'm actually really curious to hear all about your high school days, Saki. That's not a particularly interesting tale. I wore the same clothes and went to the same school as everybody else. I was the go-to pinch hitter during athletic festivals, though, so I wound up participating in a dozen or so events. And whenever there was a cultural festival, I'd make Western-style clothes, even did some fashion shows. Ah, <sighs> the good old days. Wow, that sounds like every schoolgirl trope ever. I somehow would have expected something a lot weirder from you. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? It means you're an odd duck, Saki. I wish I could have seen you in your school uniform. I bet it was cute. And those were fun times, but I was a little too popular, you know? Things were always crazy around Valentine's Day. That's totally a lie. No, I'm serious. The thing is... What? Saki went to an all-girls high school. Pinkoon! Wait, so you're saying you got valentines from other girls? Uh, well, that's... It's okay, Saki. I totally get it. I can totally... understand. Punch was right on the mark. Do you think Yamato is the deluser behind this delusion, then? Too soon to say. All we know for sure is that he has some connection to it. But no matter what that connection is, it's dangerous to go in alone. We need to get in there and help right away. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Creatures. I swear, what was he thinking coming in here all by himself? Guess it's time for us to swoop in all heroic and save him. Yeah, it's only right. Hang in there, Yamato. Damn it. I haven't come this far. To lose now! Taking on enemies like this all by your lonesome is a pretty bad life choice. Huh? What are you doing here? We found you! Answer me! Why- Monsters first, answers later! There are three customers. We got the drop on the ready to Here we go! Don't be Here we go! Phew. That the last of them? We really do fight our best when we fight together. We know you're hiding something from us, Yamato. Or trying to, at any rate. No matter what it is, though, it's not worth you throwing your life away to cover it up. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. If you really want to thank us, why don't you spill the beans on what you're doing here all alone? <laughs> this is your delusion, isn't it? <sighs> so you're still not willing to talk, huh? 
I did know that guy. Which guy? The hooded man. Kyoya Izanagi. He knew things that only I should know. That stuff about the ancient scar and the time being right? No, not that. He just... knew things. Things you'd prefer not to discuss in any greater detail, I presume. Very well. That's fine for now. So I take it you came here to ascertain his true identity? Something like that, yeah. All right, let's get to it then. Huh? We're going with you, stupid. We'll all go meet with Kyoya together. Uh, uh, what is it? Is there a problem? It's not that. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all present... This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? And there he is, right on cue. Hey. As anticipated, hast thou determined the time is nigh, world composer? Actually, I just want to know who you are. And how you know about... that. I am the observer of all eternity. Tis only natural I would know. In that case... What know you of this? The legendary far-off land of green, Anastasia. The scriptures doth tell of a great calamity brought about by the seven deadly sins. And when the eternity fragment is held, the eighth sin awakens. The destruction that follows shall serve as prologue to the world's rebirth. But then what of the world? Will it be bathed in cold light? Or warm darkness. That depends on what the creatures of this earth desire. Universal peace or distended revolution. Who shall be judged king? And who shall take the mantle of God? Shall judgment even suffice? Or shall judgment itself be judged irrelevant in the new order? Whatever avarice remains on earth shall determine if this is the end or a new beginning. Only thou canst choose. Tis to be the beacon signaling the remaking of the world. Okay, anyone have any idea what the heck these two are talking about? Not even the slightest. Composer, thou shalt here decide. Is it to be an end or a beginning? Whence thou touchest the ancient scar, thou must decide what thou wishest from the verdant impulses of old. I choose an end. Thy awakening is not yet complete, would seem. Yet, perhaps the time is still right. Know this, composer. To reign within these depths doth require more than hope alone. I am aware, but I'll put an end to it. Very well. Thou mayst proceed. Lay thy hands upon the ancient scar, and with them, Bring down the final curtain of judgment. But, of course. Well, whatever 
just happened, it looks like we can get through now. Yeah, but what did just happen? We can't just hand wave a spectacle like that away. I'm not sure. Whatever it was, it was something of consequence. Yamato, who or what are you? Just shut up already. I am who I am, and that's nobody special. But if you want to nullify this delusion, then I suggest you get moving. Hey, wait up! We should follow him, Asaki. This is our chance to take down the delusion, apparently. Sure, okay. If you think it's alright for us to just strap into Yamato's crazy roller coaster, then fine. May thy journey be guided by a warm light. You going through the door? Better be careful if you do. Here we go.
Here's your chance. Take this. Two opponents. Victory is assured. I'll be your opponent.
Quite a ways in at this point. I can't imagine there's much farther to go. You're not gonna want to let your guard down, though. Sounds like you know what's waiting for us at the end of this place. Yeah. The end and the beginning. And nothing else. I wonder what's gotten into Yamato. I suspect he's still hiding something. I mean... Is he really just an ordinary, run-of-the-mill, 16-year-old boy? Well, the hooded dude did call him the World Composer, which could have any number of nasty implications. Yeah. A door! Don't forget to knock first! Enemy spotted! That's a lot of enemies! What do we do to deserve this? Here we take the door! I didn't expect I'd have a foe of such grand scale lying in wait for me. Yet here you are, the devourer of heaven and earth! Looks like a frog to me. Yep, that's definitely a frog. There is no quarter for you and your ilk here. No mercy. Return to the scriptures from whence you came! It's just a frog. <laughs> ah! Asahi, no! You dare lay a hand on my dearest companion? Yamato? I still remember those Halcyon days. And yet this is to be our reunion. Those days. That time. That place. And here I thought you'd been scattered to the four winds like so many ashes. But perhaps this meeting of ours was foreordained. A folly of fate. Actualized by God himself. To finally be able to cross swords with you this way is like a long-forgotten dream. <laughs> Were you lonely? Did you suffer? Worry no more, for everything will be all right now, because I am here. And I bring the end. Let us disappear together. Let's bury the hatchet deep within the blackest depths of our lost history! Ugh. Don't let the cringeworthiness of all this distract you, Asahi. We've got a fight inbound. <laughs> The very contents of your burning heart! No one knows you better than I! I it's totally obliging! Let us begin! With my nerves steeled and my soul ablaze! Beginning of the end! I choose you!
won't go down so easily. Are you all still okay to fight? Why? Why? Yamato? It's my fate to compose the world. But... But the world refuses to be composed! I think I get what's going on here. What do you mean? Yamato, you need to step on up to the plate, man. It's time to erase this dark history of yours, right? <laughs> huh? Unless, of course... You don't really want to erase it after all. Wait, what are you saying? All men have dark pasts. Every last one of us. It's a fact of life. I, I don't think... We all have our own personal weapons and our own personal death blow techniques. Stop! Our own personal demons and our own personal maps to guide us around them. I said stop! And our own personal stories as well. Why won't you stop? You have a story of your own to tell. You're the world composer, Yamato. <coughs> Asahi, mind sharing whatever it is you're talking about with the rest of the class? The true form of this delusion is a fantasy world that sprang from the pages of Yamato's notebook. Or, more specifically, his death notebook, where he chronicles his dark, twisted, chuny history. <coughs> that ancient scar? That's the stuff he wants to forget, which is why it was reopened by his impulses of old. Yamato, is this true? Every word. Yamato. I know, I know. 
I'm an idiot, and way too old to write nonsense like this, but I just couldn't help it. So that's why you tried to destroy the delusion on your own. You created it, and you wanted to finish it yourself. Wouldn't you? If all your chuny crap was laid bare for the world to see? It's embarrassing. Not to me, it's not. What? Huh? I'm 19 years old, and I still absolutely adore games, anime, and manga. And judging by this ridiculously hackneyed setting, I'd say you do too. <sighs> and that's why you can't bring yourself to destroy this delusion. There's a part of you that loves it. That's not true. I'm here to end this. I'm the only one who can. You don't need to hide your true self anymore, kid. And you don't need to take this place down either. I'm not going to take it away from you. But then, what will happen to reality? No one has the right to deny someone else what they love. Except us, of course. What? Oh no! Yamato's delusion! Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> the Freedom Fighters! Why? Why are you here? Tell me! Why, Mizuki? Yoo-hoo! What are you doing here? Where the hell else would we be? It's our job to protect Akiba's freedom, remember? If there's a delusion to be fought, we're gonna be there fighting. You can take that to the bank. Straight to the bank! And it looks like this one's all over but the crime. All thanks to my loyal assistant. Assistant? <sighs> Come on, you two, let's mosey. There's a job well done party just waiting for us to throw it. Woo! Party! I wanna eat curry! Now there's an idea. You get 20 points for that one. Any objections, Mizuki? Hello? Mizuki? To Mizukin! Uh huh? Oh, sorry, I'm good with anything. That settles it then! Let's go get ourselves some curry. Freedom Fighters! Roll outs! Wait! What is it? You finally gonna lay down your unconditional surrender? I just wanna know why, Mizuki. Why? I don't have anything to say to you. But why not? So, what's going on again, exactly? Search me. At least the encroachment of the delusion has stopped, I guess. Yeah, but I still remember every damn thing. <sighs> Sahi. Well, look on the bright side. We've now eliminated every last delusion in Akihabara. I don't know if it worked, though. Look at my phone. 12.13. And still Sunday. Well, there goes that theory. <sighs> hey, Asahi? The Freedom Fighter's new accomplice back there... was that...? Yeah. My old friend. That's... what I thought. Anyway, now that the Chuni delusion is gone, we've crossed yet another chapter off this tale. That's something. Doesn't exactly put a smile on my face, though. But at least my dark past has finally been erased. Yamato... Sorry, I need to go. I have to go search for him. I have to. Wait! The ancient scar has vanished. Just the way it should have. I mean, I didn't really have any reason to be embarrassed about it. According to the Neats, at least. Nobody has the right to deny me. So I should just take pride. We saved the world. We're heroes. This is our story. Even if it's lost to history, this nameless hero's still going to have his pride.
This should be where he was waiting for me all this time. We're sorry, but this number is not available at this time. Why the hell not? Oh, my. What seems to be the problem? Huh? You know, a contorted expression like that can shatter the mystique of the most handsome of men. Who are you? Huh? Where are my manners? My card. Akemi? That's correct. I am Akemi, a wondrous lady from any angle and by any standard. Uh, okay. So, now that I've introduced myself, may I ask what troubles you? It's nothing. <laughs> Very well, I shan't force the matter if you don't wish to speak of it. But be aware that simply talking to another can be enough to lighten your heart. One of life's little mysteries, as am I. As you'll see on my card. Violet Eden? It's the name of my store. Or perhaps I should call it a members only bar. But you're always welcome. I'm underage. Not a problem. We serve lunch as well. You'll find us along the side streets. If you have troubles weighing you down or even a spare moment, please know that our doors are always open. If you ever wish to talk, you'll always find a friendly ear. Or more, if you're looking. Perhaps there's a certain maid you've your eye on, or an anime or manga you're simply dying to discuss. We can do that. Or perhaps you'd be more interested in the encroachment of delusions. What? <laughs> there's the reaction I was hoping for. Why don't we discuss the man in the pink cape while we're at it? You know him? But of course. You see that pink business card on the ground there? This? Delusion Contractor Cannon. That's the name of your man in pink.